No matter which airline you choose for your flight, chances are that the plane you will be boarding is predominantly white. But why is that? Wouldn't it be nice to have more variety, like with cars? It sure would, but there are good reasons why airplanes are painted white. Find out with me today and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future aviation videos. Welcome to Airspace Explained. When airplanes leave the factory, they are usually painted in an anti-corrosive green color. But they only remain in this state for a short while before they are painted in the livery of the airline that bought the plane. When this is done, chances are that the most predominant color you will see on that aircraft, no matter what the airline is, will be white. And there are several good reasons for that. In earlier times, aircraft skin used to be bare aluminium. American Airlines was famous for that look. But this lack of paint brought several difficulties with it. For one, it required a lot of polishing so the planes would not look dull and worn. Also, when airplanes used to be only shiny silver, passengers would complain about glare in the sunlight. Wow. Even more important though was the problem that without paint, the aircraft surface corroded faster and expensive repairs were frequent. So, it's basically just cheaper to have a costly paint shop, but fewer very costly repairs. The cost of a paint shop for an airliner varies massively depending on the complexity of delivery and the size of the aircraft, and can range anywhere between 50,000 to 200,000 US dollars. Also, a 737's paint shop can weigh as much as 500 kilograms, which equals about 6 passengers. This weight really starts to add up if you consider that such an aircraft is usually used for about 60,000 flights during its lifespan. So that's 360,000 passengers that you could have transported instead of the paint job. Another big reason why planes are painted white is temperature. You might know that from your car. A black car will get much hotter in the sun than a white one will. For planes, this is even more of an issue than for cars. You see, planes have to operate in a wide range of temperatures. In cruise, temperatures can go as low as minus 70 degrees Celsius, while on the ground in summer, they can go much higher, let's say to 30 degrees Celsius. So that's already a 100 Celsius degree temperature span an aircraft has to be able to handle. If you now were to paint the airplane black, it would heat up even more during ground stops. And that is something aircraft engineers try to avoid, since more heat difference also means more expansions and contractions of metal, which can lead to metal fatigue. Also, white is a good contrasting color, so one can spot damages to the aircraft more easily. This is an important factor for flight safety. Another reason for the shiny white is that white paint does not fade easily, like other colors do. Since airplanes are exposed to UV light almost permanently and have to endure all kinds of environmental stresses, colorful airplane paint tends to fade over time, but white does not. And lastly, there is a rumor that planes that have a contrasting paint shop suffer less bird strikes. Unfortunately, I could not find any sources that confirm or deny that rumor, so this one is inconclusive. Well, there you have it. Now you know why most planes are white. Still, there are many beautiful liveries out there. My favorite one is the Northern Light livery by Iceland Air. What is yours? Let me know in the comments. Also make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. See you in the next one.